<clears throat> Good morning, everyone. This is Michelle uh, Michelle with Sweet Home Heaven. Um, this is your chapter reading today. Um, I, I'm sorry, I didn't get to go, go back and read the part two on um, 1 Corinthians chapter three. It was basically, it wasn't like I, I, I didn't read, I read the scripture, but I didn't go back and read the um, the focus groups. And if I have time, I'll try to go back and do that um, today, if possible, because it was really, really good. I wanted to share it with you. Anyway, um, we're reading 1 Corinthians chapter 4 today. But like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I post a video, as well as on my other channel, um, Michelle Okerson Vlog. Like, share, and su subscribe over there as well. Um, and hit the notification bell to be notified whenever I post a video. So, also guys, if you could, I would greatly appreciate it if you could leave a comment because it does help uh, YouTube's algorithm. And thank for you, thank y'all, the ones who are faithful that, um, you know, listen to my videos and comment and like. <laughs> um, I do appreciate you guys. Um, and I do know that this channel, you know, will grow according to God's will, not mine. All right. Um, so let's get started. This is a short chapter. Stewards of the Mysteries of God. Now remember, it's Paul talking to the church in Corinth, to the Corinth, to the Corinthians, the church of Cor uh, the church of Corinth. That a man so consider us as servants of Christ and stewards of the mysteries of God. Moreover, it is required in stewards that one be found faithful. But with me, it is very small thing that I should be judged by you or by a human court. In fact, I do not even judge myself, for I know of nothing against myself, yet I am not justified by this. But he who judges me is the Lord. Therefore, judge nothing before the time until the Lord comes, who will both bring to light the hidden things of darkness and reveal the counsels of the hearts. Then each one's praise will come from God. <clears throat> Fools for Christ's sake. Now these things, brethren, I have figuratively transferred to myself and Apollos for your sakes, that you, you may learn in us not to think beyond what is written, that none of you may be puffed up on behalf of one against the other. For who makes the who makes the differ from a, uh, from another? Who make who who decides how you're different? No, 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 no barking. Later, it's okay. Um, I lost my place. Hmm. No, no. Uh, verse seven. For who makes you differ from another? And what do you have that you did not receive? Now, if you did indeed receive it, why do you boast as if you had not received it? You are already full. You are already rich. You have a, you have reigned as kings without us. And indeed, I could wish you, and and indeed, I could wish you did reign, that we also might reign with you. For I think that God has displayed us, the apostles, last as men condemned to death. For we have been made a spectacle to the world, both to angels and to men. We are fools for Christ's sakes. sake, but you are wise in Christ. We are weak, but you are strong. You are distinguished, but we are dishonored. To the present hour, we both hunger and thirst, and we are poorly clothed and beaten and homeless. And we labor, working with our own hands, being reviled, we bless, being persecuted, we endure, being defamed, we entreat. We have been made as the filth of the world, the offscoring of all things until now. Paul's paternal care. I do not write these things to shame you, but as my beloved children, I warn you. For though you might have, ha, for though you might have ten thousand instruct, instructors in Christ, yet you do not have many fathers. For <laughs> tongue, I'm getting my tongue twisted today. For though you might have ten thousand instructors in Christ, yet you do not have many fathers. For in Christ Jesus, I have begotten you through the gospel. Therefore, I urge you, imitate me. For this reason, I have sent Timothy to you, 
who is my beloved and faithful son in the Lord, who will remind you of my ways in Christ as I teach you everywhere in every church. Now some are puffed up as though I were not coming to you, but I will come to you shortly if the Lord wills and I will know. Not the word of those who are puffed up, but the power. For the kingdom of God is not in word, but in power. What do you want? Shall I come to you with a rod or in, in love and a spirit of gentleness? That's pretty good. This one doesn't have any focus uh, focus sections, so yeah. But I, I, I yeah. The um, one I wanted to read for 1 Corinthians chapter 3 was um, the workplace myths. Maybe I will, um, I'll I'll go back and read this one. All right, guys. Love y'all. Have a blessed Wednesday.